Hello there and welcome to today's maths lesson which sees the fourth lesson of unit 909 which is all on percentages and percentage multipliers. So today the learn objective is to know how to write one number as a percentage of another. So on the board you have six questions. This is your knowledge retrieval. Please pause the video here for about 10 minutes and work through those six questions. Well, I'll put the answers on the screen in a moment, so make sure you've got a green pen ready. Make sure you try all of those questions that you can. And there are your answers. So again, pause the video here and mark your answers, please. Okay, so example one, the first I do and we do of the lesson. For the first example, we have to write £3 as a percentage of £100. So this one's quite simple. We have £3, 3 out of 100, so that is simply 3%. So please pause the video there, copy that down, try the we do. £9 as a percentage of £100. And again, quite simply for the we do, we have £9 as a percentage of £100. So 9 out of 100, which gives me 9%. Okay, next I do, write £35 as a percentage of 100. So we've got 35 out of 100, which is simply 35%. Please pause the video there, copy that down, and then do the we do. Fairly simple to start off with. So £95 as a percentage of £100 is 95 out of 100, which is simply 95%. Well done if you've got that right. I hope you're following along so far. Okay, so next one, which is a bit more tricky, what I do is to write 2,100p as a percentage of £35. So the tricky thing here is that we have two different units, okay, we've got pence and we've got pounds. We need to compare those two, and in order to compare them, we need to get them to the same units. So we could write 2100p as pounds in this instance they've actually converted the pounds into pence so 35 pounds if you times that by 100 is equal to 3500 pence then we're going to write that as a fraction 21000 out of 3500 and we're just simplifying that so you can simplify it first by dividing it by 100 to get 21 out of 35 and if you simplify that down, taking out a common factor of 7, you get 3 fifths, which we can calculate to equal 60%. And remember, if you're unsure of how to convert this 3 fifths into, six, into a percentage, you can go back to our lesson, I think it's either unit 907 or 908, where we converted percentages in, I mean fractions, into percentages. So if you're not confident doing that, feel free to head back to, I think, unit 907. So 3 fifths is 60%, so 2100p is 60% of 35 pounds. Pause the video there, copy that down, and try the we do, please. Okay, so for the we do, we convert £95 into pence. So £95 is 9,500p. So 3,800 out of 9,500, we simplify that fraction, it comes to two fifths, which again, you can work this out like using unit 907, but this is quite a simple one, two fifths, we should know off the top of our head, is 40%. So really well done if you got that right. 
Okay, here are six questions on the board. So please pause the video here and calculate those six questions. And there are your first six answers. So please mark those in green pen. I'll be interested to see if anyone's got all of those right, because if you have, you're doing absolutely amazing. Well done. Keep it up. OK, so for the next six questions and here you, you'll see in these sort of questions, we've got some different units. OK, so that is going to make things a little bit more tricky. But hopefully you're quite confident on your unit conversions and you can work these out. If in doubt, then every litre is a thousand millilitres. And every metre is 100 centimetres. And there are 10 millimetres in each centimetre. OK, so again, pause the video here, work through those six and we'll go through the answers in a moment. OK, and there are your six answers. So oh, unfortunately, this last one has been cut off, but pause the video and copy these for well and uh, mark these first four for me in green pen, please. And for K and L, I've just re looked at the questions. So 320 centimeters so you're doing 40 centimeters out of 320 which if you convert to a percentage gives 12.5 percent and some of you might have even been sharp enough to realize that question l was effectively the same as question k the only difference was it had millimeters but again that is 12.5 percent Thank you for listening today, guys. That is it for today's lesson, and I'll see you again in the next lesson of 909. Thank you for listening, and goodbye.